good morning my loves how's everybody doing today today is national wear red day which i should probably read the national days the day before and not the day of because then i could have celebrated and i could have wore red but you know what probably tmi but i do have on red somewhere that you can't see so i guess i'm celebrating that way <music> Also, National Fettuccine Alfredo Day. So, don't celebrate if you're on a low carb diet. If your diet consists of whatever you want to eat, then enjoy. Go enjoy some Fettuccine Alfredo. Today is, it's a lot of holidays today. Today is National Periodic Table Day for all of my science nerds. And it is, it's one more, oh, it's Send a Card to a Friend Day. So, if you want to send me a card, send me an e-card <laughs> i think i'll put an email address send me an e-card i'll be happy to have that um other than that i made it through the week i think i made it through pretty much the entire week sticking to omad what i did not stick to was exercise so we'll see if that reflects in my weight over the weekend i had an experience earlier in the week that i think i'm going to share with you all i tried to go buy makeup for the first time so I think I'm gonna put that in a video for you guys because I am 30 years old y'all and I you couldn't pay me to put some makeup I don't know how I don't I don't know how to do my makeup so I went to Sephora and I tried out a couple things and it just watch the video when I post it you guys because it's just it's all bad so I bought all this stuff and I'm still back to my basic routine which is pretty much putting some like shading my eyebrows very slightly and putting on some lip gloss and on a good day I'll put on some mascara I'm just I'm not I'm not a makeup person y'all as far as how I'm feeling weight loss wise guys close your ears um I'm feeling bloated so you know what that means I am not going to let that discourage me but I just I don't feel you know like the OMAD paid off you get what I'm saying <laughs> like 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 my diet is in vain like it was for no reason at all because I'm feeling really bloated and I know I'm retaining a lot of water right now but outside of that guys okay you can open your ears now something that I really want to do is and I know people have a lot of controversy about people who are on weight loss journeys doing eating videos or food videos but this is something that I want to do because we live in the same city so I'm calling you out on this I don't know when we're gonna do it it may not be for a while it may not be until it gets warm or until some other things fall into place but Justin Jay Gaines I really want to do this wing challenge I want to find out what the best wings in my city are so maybe I pick a wing place you pick a wing place maybe we have Tony pick a wing place and we have one more of your friends pick a wing place and then we do like a blind test of all four wing places and then we vote and see who really has the best wings in Cleveland so I think that'll be fun and when I mean wings here I mean like whole wings covered in barbecue sauce fried just nasty disgusting saucy wings so <laughs> if you're up for it let me know Maybe we can put something together. If you if you saw the video when I had to take Tegan to the hospital, I mentioned that every time I'm off work, there's some sort of something where I get a phone call from the school, one of the kids is sick. So I never actually technically have like an off work day. There's always something. Now that dad is off work today, he's like, oh, I'm gonna have a free day. Nope, Christian's not feeling well and it is so, so snowy outside. I'm gonna show you guys. So dad is home with all the kids today. They're staying home. And, um, yeah, so I'm kind of happy about that because it's not me this time. Shh, don't tell Tony I said that. So here's the one thing about having my coffee as a saving grace that I just realized when I just picked it, picked it up and, um, and tasted it. Braylon or Christian are amazing sons. They're my oldest two. They are 11 and 9. 
cut. Okay, I should know how old my kids are. Yes, Christian is 11, Braylon is nine. They know how to use the Keurig. They know how to wake up in the morning and they make my coffee and they do it every morning and I'm so grateful for that. And Braylon normally makes my coffee perfect, perfect. Like I couldn't make it better myself. But for some reason this morning, it's just a little bit off. Like it's just, it's not my favorite this morning. So when I go to work and I have my water and my coffee, my coffee is usually my saving grace. It's like, oh, at least I have something I can enjoy while I'm making it through this day um, doing OMAD. <laughs> and if the coffee ain't that good, it's just, it's just gonna make it that much harder. I actually don't prefer Starbucks coffee either. I use Starbucks K-Cups, but when I go to Starbucks, I don't like their coffee. I'm probably one in a hundred people who just does not care for Starbucks coffee at all, but I don't, it's not, it's not good coffee. I'm sorry, it's not good. I love my coffee really, really, really dark. So I use two K-Cups in the morning, um, a small and medium size K-Cup so that they can be like, like, so it can be really, really dark coffee. That's what I like. I don't know what the hell Starbucks sells. I just, I don't like it. I'd rather, honestly, I would rather have a cup of coffee from McDonald's than Starbucks. I'm just saying. So there's some people that I'm really proud of. One of them is Healthy Way I Live. I am watching some of you all become just like workout gurus. <laughs> I'm watching some of you all just really kick it up and like take it to the next level with the workouts where I can actually see you all getting that like uh what's it not a gym addiction because some of you all work out at home but just getting that like where I have to work out every day and the funniest to me the funniest to me is gotta be Sam Sam from couple of pounds because every single day when it's time for him to do his push-ups he it's almost like he cannot do a push-up unless he says I don't wanna before he starts <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you've noticed that, Sam, but that is just, that's hilarious to me. I commend all of you for really sticking to that workout routine. And so here's what. I go to Planet Fitness. Anybody else who goes to Planet Fitness knows that they charge an annual fee. My annual fee just hit, um, I think last week my annual fee hit. So it pissed me off because I have not been to the gym like I'm supposed to and I just paid them twice this month so I just uh, not happy about it so today's shout out is gonna go to Mitt and Mommy Life she said keep up the good work and she's enjoying uh, supporting others weight loss journeys so yes this is just it's such a great place to do this Mitt and Mommy Life does she'll show you meals and she'll give you a couple recipes she also does like these mall walks with her son pretty much letting you know that just because you have a kid does not mean you cannot get out and work out just because you physically have your kid with you does not mean you cannot get out and work out so I commend her for that Mitt and Mommy Life check out her channel and I'm also meeting a lot of people who have a different take on weight loss which really interests me and it really like it really motivates me so many of you all that have a different perspective on weight loss that is really inspiring and it's fresh and it's new and I commend you for that and one person in particular is Mr. My Life that I want to also give a shout out to because not only does he look at weight loss from a um a of course you know, you got to get out there. You got to work hard. You got to change your diet. You got to eat right. You got to go to the gym. But he also looks at it from a perspective of knowing where your mental um, state is and being able to deal with certain things like depression and how to overcome it and just manifest greatness and all these other things. And that's really just I'm I'm really proud of. So he's it's it's so much of a mental game, and I think seeing that so many people understand that now is inspiring and I think a lot of us especially right now in this like as we're on this journey together I think so many of us are going to be long-term successful because of the knowledge from people like him and people like Kay that I was watching who said the best weight loss advice she could give is to go see your doctor so these are all solid and unique perspectives outside of just diet and exercise and I think because of that because of all this information is being shared with us in this moment right now as we're all going through these journeys I think it's going to make a lot of us 
Oh, I would like to say all of us. I think it's gonna make all of us successful in the long term because we see the bigger picture and not just, I wanna lose weight. It's, I wanna lose weight. I want to be mentally healthy. I wanna be physically healthy. It's just the whole broad spectrum of things that we're working on that we wanna do to better ourselves. And I'm just so happy to be a part of this weight loss community in this moment with these people who support me and these people that I support. It's slippery out here. Okay. <laughs> so with that, every day is for learning, especially right now. I feel like I'm learning so much from you guys, but every day is for learning, living, and loving. I will talk to you tomorrow.